Why don't you just wipe that stupid smile off your face, okay? So I didn't get it the first try. Whatever. Hey friends, welcome back. I am Jason and we are on the fringes of society for this video series, attempting to survive using only one tool, a fixed blade knife. Now we've got to build a shelter. On the edge of civilization, there's always going to be some sort of trash, plastic bags, in this case, actual roofing material. I was able to bring Casper the Friendly Ghost, the balloon, back to camp, and I was able to use it to transport some water in my, my t-shirt bag here. This is the rig that I used to filter, charcoal filter some water, but it also worked pretty good as a water carrying device. Got quite a bit of water still left in there. Now I know it doesn't look like much yet. Even this as is, is an incredibly good shelter compared to what you could craft out of natural materials. It would take me forever to make something, take me hours to construct something that's almost as watertight as this rickety ramshackle shed that I've created here. And since my fire is gonna go right here and potential for rain could put my fire out, I'm going to extend my roof here, this longer piece. Okay, well, maybe something like that. And now if I put my fire directly underneath this overhang right here, my awning, if you will, it, any rain that's coming down, unless it's bucketing down sideways or something, it's going to be protected by this roof, and I should be able to keep it alive no matter what. Any water that comes running down my roof is going to hit this log, and then it's going to want to drain down and drip. So what I might do... Probably not a deal breaker, not that big a deal, but what I might do is just dig myself a little trench or So if any rainfall should happen, it drips off of my roof, it will have a place to go and not puddle up all underneath me. That ought to work. Not planning on staying here forever, obviously. If I was, then I'd put a lot more effort into building a more permanent type structure. But something temporary, something quick, doesn't require a lot of calories, a lot of energy to uh, construct. Is something like this is just, that's probably what I would do is if, if I was only gonna be here for a few days. In a suburban type area, it's very likely that you'll come across a brush pile kind of like this where people have dumped off stuff after cleaning their yards. So I'm gonna use some of this bamboo for a mattress. There we go. That'll work. So this bamboo bed here is going to keep me off of the cold, hard ground because I can't compress it. I can't squish it down to where I'm literally touching the dirt. I can't do that because it's just rigid. Obviously, this isn't the most comfortable bed. It's actually not, not terrible, really. I could probably sleep on that. You know, I have a gift 
I could sleep pretty much anywhere. <laughs> as long as I can lay down I, or lean up against a tree, I can usually get some rest. But I can soften this thing up with just ferns and um, leafy boughs and stuff like that. So that's probably what I'll do is I'll just throw, I'll throw some, some fresh greenery on here and that'll give me a nicer, nicer, comfier place to lay down. And for the sake of time, I'm just going to put the soft, squishy stuff from basically head to hip, pretty much, because that's where all my weight is going to be. Everything below that, my legs, I'm not going to worry about so much. But shoulders, shoulders and hips kind of tend to dig in, and uh, that's where I'm going to focus all of my efforts. So there's a decent, softer spot for me to lay down tonight. And I can always, as I go out and about and scavenge for whatever else that I need, I could always come back and add more and more and more. Nice. So now, while I'm in my shelter, I'll have not only a reflective wall on this back wall here on this log, but I'll have someone to talk to. <laughs> you get me, Casper, you know? You, you understand me, and that's, that's what I like about you. So starting a friction fire, the other day was a real drag <laughs> that was a lot of work really tough and i'm gonna try to avoid doing that again and i've got a couple more tricks up my sleeve one of them is another kind of friction fire but i'm gonna see if i could find uh some rocks that one will probably be perfect actually that's quartz that's what we need you can't just use any kind of rock for this i'm gonna try to do a flint and steel fire There's some good tinder right here. Some dead grass. Tulip poplar tree here that we collected our bark off of the other day. And we'll see if we can get a little more. Now we're talking. That's looking pretty good. That's a sharp little piece right there. Got a couple decent sparks to land on there, but nothing taken yet. Well, no luck. We might eventually get it after a long, long effort, but I feel like we might be more productive moving on to something else. I'm I really hoping I don't have to try that bow drill again. <laughs> My arm is sore for sure. Oh, really? You could do, you could do a bow drill fire in less than 29 attempts. Really? Really? You don't even have any arms. Yeah, I, I understand that the flint and steel didn't work either. I get it. I, it was a small chance, but I thought maybe, just maybe. Don't act like you've been really busy. Okay, yeah, so you collected some water. Big deal. whoop a dee doo You know what? You're being, you're being real critical right now, and you're projecting. You're projecting on me, and I don't appreciate it. You can be replaced. Dunlop has requested that you leave a comment. Any comment will do.
Why don't you just wipe that stupid smile off your face, okay? So I didn't get it the first try. Whatever. Second attempt is way better than 29. <laughs> Good grief. I learned that specific technique from Alan Kay and I'm really grateful to have learned it because it's probably the easiest friction fire method that I've ever done. I, I get it almost, I don't know if I've ever failed. I mean, I failed a couple attempts, but I've never actually like failed completely of getting a fire using the, the bamboo fire saw. So that's a good one to learn. All right, guys. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Make sure you're hitting the thumbs up, subscribing if you haven't done so already. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to have time in this series to get to food production. Um, we've gotten water. We've built shelter. We've built fire twice. A couple different methods. Um, and maybe we'll get to food on another video at another time. But unfortunately, I'm just out of time. But I really do appreciate you watching. Can't wait to see you on the next video. Make sure you're leaving comments, ask questions. Any questions that you have, I try to answer almost every single question that gets posted. So, so uh, do me a favor and ask lots of questions, leave lots of comments, and we will see you on the next one.